back to school series this week and today part four children are targets of warfare children are targets of warfare they are the weapons of warfare and they are the targets of warfare that's what we're going to talk about this morning and want to impart this into you it is critical that you get this word on this morning this week when we're talking about going back to school Everybody's going back to school this week, next week, into September, so on and so forth. But let's be prepared. Let's be prepared. I got a word for you on this morning. You know, I'm going to share with you the text to talk and the takeaway. And uh, I'd love for you to share your comments in the chat area. So the cumulative effect of everybody getting the revelation will help others as well. So good morning, Andrea. Good morning, Brenda. How are you on this morning? Welcome to Morning Manor. Got a word for you on this morning. Now, I'm going to give you the text talk and the takeaway. This is what you need to do. You need to share the manner. Please don't keep it to yourself. Uh, if it's a blessing, you bless somebody else. Good morning, Joe. How are you? Glad you're staying connected. Good morning, Bobby. Middlesex, North Carolina. Good to see you on this morning. Good morning, Pamela. Good morning, Anna. How are you all on this morning? Is this blessing you? Let me know. Is, is this week on um, back to school blessing you for uh, how your kids, your grandkids, and all of those who you know are going back to school uh, from college to kindergarten. Good morning, Teresa. How are you on this morning? Uh, what a wonderful morning it is. Good morning, Minister Mobley. How are you on this morning? Let's get right into the word this morning. This morning, part four of our back to school series this week. Children are targets of warfare. Children are targets of warfare. Another way you can say it is weapons of warfare. Here's the text. The text is this, Psalms 127, 4 and 5. Psalms 127, 4 and 5. Listen to what the writer says poetically about children. Like arrows in a warrior's hands, blessed is the man whose quiver is full. Psalms 127, 4 and 5. Children are like arrows in a warrior's hands. Blessed is the man, I add woman, whose quiver, the thing that holds the arrows, is full. Let me give you the context of the text and then we will then make application for today. The context of the text is this. The psalmist is writing poetically about what children are and how they are seen during biblical times. What he's simply saying is that the more children you have, the more your quiver is full of arrows likened to children, the better off you are in warfare. Also, the better off you are in harvesting your whatever you are uh, a farmer of, and they were agrarian people. What does that mean? During biblical times, the more children you have, the more warriors you have, because children are going to grow up. Where do you think we get the word infantry from? It comes from infants using children or as they grow into warfare. Now let's make application to today. Today, children are the objects, the targets, of spiritual warfare that is happening in our country, without a shadow of a doubt. From the identity crisis that they're dealing with, the sexuality, from the sexuality and the sensuality that is going on in our culture, they are the targets. Because the enemy knows if they can convert the child, then we would never have a growing kingdom of God. That's why when a child comes to the Lord, they come better when they are younger than when they are older. So here is what I want to share with you. Here's the three things that I need you to get with respect to children are like arrows in the hands of a warrior. One, an arrow is most effective and goes further when it's pulled back. The further you pull back on the arrow in the bow, the further it will go and the more um, effective it will be. 
not only to reach its target, but to inflict damage on its target and take its target out. So you got to pull back. What does that mean for you and I? You got to pull your children, your grandchildren back out of the culture. You got to pull them back into your history, your legacy. Tell them your story. The, money don't grow on trees. How did you get to this place? You got to pull them back in order so that they can go further. The second thing is an arrow is most effective and takes out its target when it is sharpened. You have to sharpen children with the word of God. Before they go to school, you should be speaking a word into their life. Children, grandchildren, you should be sharing a word with them, having devotion with them upon their coming back. It's not how was school, but what did you learn? How is easy answer? Fine. Go on about their business. What did you learn? Pull them back, sharpen them with a word that they might bring destruction upon the enemy whose heart you are flinging them into. The third thing is this. Take control of the TV and the telephone. Take control of the TV and the telephone. The TV tells a vision. That's why you call it television. The enemy is the prince of the air. Television waves goes through the air and they tell a vision. Now we have put the TV and the phone together that they can get the vision of the enemy right in their phones. <laughs> you can stream all day long. It's not just a matter of old school OG sitting down the whole family watching television. They can watch television in their rooms on their own and you never know. So therefore, you gotta take control of the telling the vision and the telephone. What's your takeaway this morning? Your takeaway is this. Your children and grandchildren are weapons of war. Prepare them well so we can win. Your children and grandchildren are literally, according to Psalms 127, 4 and 5, weapons of war. Prepare them well so that we can win. The Lord be with you today. His face shine upon you, give you peace. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more morning man as we bring to conclusion uh, this whole series on back to school. If this bless you, bless somebody else. Don't keep it. Don't be greedy. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more morning man. God bless you. Bye now.